All right, son. Brought you a cup of tea, milky, with three sugars. Listen, uh, about what you said yesterday. You're not angry, are you? No, of course not. I'm just a bit, just a bit surprised. That's all. I mean, it's just a bit out of blue, isn't it? I guess so. That's what made you say it. Just thought it'd be a good idea. Well, um, you said anything to Stella about it? Good. Let's keep it that way, yeah? But you are going to ask her. I'm really... But do I have to go to play school? Well, I already covered for you once yesterday. But seeing as you're such a good boy and you did exactly as I asked, I'm sure I can come up with something to keep your dad happy. Has he said anything yet about what you asked him? No. Huh. I suppose maybe he's working up to it. That Robbie needs his head examining. But that's the problem with people today. They take marriage far too lightly. One flash of cleavage, and before the champagne's even warm, their marriage vows are a distant memory. Maybe you should have a word with Ben, put him straight. Ben? What's Ben got to do with it? Phil? Ben wants me to marry Stella. What? Yeah, I know. It took me by surprise and all. Well, out the mouths of both, so. So? So what? Well, I've always said you could do a lot worse than Stella. Yes, I know. I already have. It's a bit sudden, though, isn't it? Yeah, well, when something's right, it's right, isn't it? Well, it's all that warm champagne and cleavage stuff, eh? Yeah, well, you and Stella, you're different. I mean, well... Uh... Well, what? Well, you're older and wiser. Exactly. Do me a favour. No, you do me a favour and don't interfere my business for once in your life. <sighs> what about that place, Kim? I said he'd give her a miss today after his heroics yesterday. You're too soft than him, you are. Hmm. I was thinking, Phil, we could have lunch today, just the two of us. Um, I'm not sure. Minty needs to be down the arches. I, I've got things to do. Any things in particular? No, oh, no, just things. All right, how about dinner, then? Uh, but I don't know. I do see how my day goes. You gotta eat. Yeah. Have a go. Talk to you later, yeah? Hello, Minty. It's Peggy. I've got a little job for you. Are you angry with me? Angry with you? No. Did Dad say when he'd be back? Worried about you, yes. I mean, if I'm not around, who's going to protect you from the bullies like yesterday and who's going to stop your dad from being disappointed in you? But you're not going to leave, are you? I don't know. I might have to. Unless your dad asks me to marry him, of course. I mean, I can't stay where I'm not wanted. But I did tell him I thought it was a good idea. Sometimes we have to try a bit harder to get what we want. Sometimes adults, like children, need a bit more persuading. I don't believe you. Of course, I didn't say Was it with you these days? You Peggy's poodle or something? She's, she says jump and you say how oh, I. She's only trying to help. So I take it you're not that keen then? I don't see you running down the aisle. Well, I might be the best judge of character when it comes to picking a bride, am I? But, you know, Stella, she's... She's nice, she's sensitive, she's clever, she's kind. Will you marry her then? If you're going to let her go, No, man. no, it's, it's not like I want to let her go. Well, what is it? Well, you've got a miss. She's a bit different than any other woman I've been with in the past, isn't she? What, and that's a bad thing? I mean, you can tell from a mile off she ain't going to run out on you. She probably ain't going to try and kill you. And she won't grasp her up to the old bill. But all I'm saying is, you know, don't let a good thing slip away. You all right? No, 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 I'm still really busy. Well, what's wrong with him now? Yeah, all right, all right, I'll, uh... I'll pop over and have a word with him, yeah. OK. What are you doing back? 
I thought you were busy all day, or have you finally come to your senses? <sighs> oh, what did you think Minty's little pep talk was going to get me rushing back here to drop down on one knee? Yeah, well, I just didn't want you to make a mistake that I know you're going to regret. Mum, the only thing I regret right now is telling you anything about it. Look, Phil, Mom, I... just leave it, will you? I've only come back to see Ben. Apparently he's upset about something. He seemed all right to me earlier. Well, we'll see, won't we? So is it, there's no need for tears and, and being upset. But why aren't you going to want Stella to marry you? I don't understand you, mate. I mean, last week you was accusing Stella of hitting you, and this week you want me to marry her. I mean, it don't make sense. Ben, is there something you're not telling me? Dad. Yeah? You do want Stella to stay, don't you? Of course I do. I love having her around. You know that. So then it's good to marry you. Please. But why marriage? Why is that so important? I've already lost one, Mum. I don't want to lose another one. You're not going to lose her. Stella's not going anywhere, and neither am I. Everything's going to be all right. Do you promise? I promise. Really? Really, look. Everything's going to be all right, I promise you. I'll talk to Stella tonight. 